welcome back. Um, welcome to our nine month, can you believe it? Nine month check-in. Uh, sorry we missed the eight months, but things got a little hectic over the holidays. So I just wanted to give you an update on Sable's size, her weight and everything, um, things that we're struggling with, things that are going well still. Um, yeah, just give you a general update as well as a couple fun new things that we've been working on. I'm sure you saw our, our uh, mental enrichment video. Well, Sable's already mastered, unfortunately, the toy that Shane and I built for her. So we had to make it a little bit more complicated. So I'll show you that too. Um, so to start out, I weighed Sable. She is 32 pounds, which actually I believe is pretty much what she was her last video check-in. Um, so maybe this is it. Hopefully this is it. I still like to be able to pick her up, but um, let's, let's measure and see dimensionally if she's changed at all. Good girl. We're at about 19 inches tall. Come here, babe. I know. Here, smell it. See, it smells so bad. It's not for you to lick, but it's just for you to smell. Come. Just measuring the length, Kelly. <laughs> it's okay. Good girl. Okay, check it out. Okay. She's about 20 inches long. Um, 2021. 20, she she wouldn't necessarily hold still, but again, that was 19 inches high, about 20, 21 inches long. All right. So previously we talked about these little paws um, and how they were looking like what we called them Grinch feet. Um, so we actually got a pair of thinning shears is what they're called. And we trimmed the top, watched a couple videos online on how to do that. Um, and then we used some scissors on the bottom to try to cut the hair between like her paw pads because this can freeze in the winter time or cause infection. It's not clean. Um, and it does tend to actually capture a lot of like mud and dirt and stuff and bring it into the house. So if anything, it's just an annoyance, honestly. Um, so we tried to do that ourselves. We were pretty happy with how we thinned out the top, the Grinch paws, um, but the bottom just isn't sufficient. So we actually made an appointment on this Thursday. She's gonna get that better taken care of. Um, so I'll keep you updated on how well that helps, but that's just like a general hygiene things that all dogs should really get taken care of, especially in the winter time. Um, so some successes that we've had, um, now that she's nine months old, even though she's turning into quite the little teenager, um, she's definitely coming when she's called. Her recall has really gotten a lot better. Um, <laughs> And she's, we started some more formal training, um, even though she's pretty well trained and we've been working with her, as you guys have seen since she was like a little, little pup. Um, we started formal training with her, so it's great just socially for her to be around other dogs and still having to focus on me. Um, and <coughs> tell them about it. Tell them about it. You know what, that's a step in the right direction too because in previous days she would have like tried to bite at me to let her down and now she knows like that's not going to let me down. Um, so I'll, I'll take the line anyway. All right, so some things that we are working on still are patience. We're working on mat work. We're working on recall. Um, although her recall has gotten really great. See there, she wasn't very patient even though I put her into the down position and asked her to, to stay. Sable down. I know. Sable down. So we're just casually increasing increments um, between giving her treats when she is in the position that we've asked her to be. Yes. And then when we want her out of this position, we just say break. And she knows to go find her treat. Hopefully. Yes, and then she should, in theory, come back and she should, yes, sit down and look at me for the next command. Yes. Um, so that's something we've been working on too. So we definitely are still struggling with some things um, as Sable has entered her teenage phase. Um, she's getting to be a little bit bitey again, which um, is mostly when she's tired or has a lot of energy um, or, or just is super playful. Um, so we're trying to tone that down again, but 
not concerned because she is kind of in that teenage phase where she's testing things out again. Um, we're also working on our patients. Leave it. Yes, good girl. So I'm not sure if you guys have seen this from our mental enrichment video, but we actually had to, had to add these little arms on um, because Sable got too smart to figure this out too quickly and we wanted it to be a mental exercise for her. Um, so let's put some in here and I'll show you. Sable, sit, wait, leave it. Ah, uh ah, -uh. leave it. That's the easy one. Yes! So you can see she goes for that one first because she always knows that that's the easiest one. And just like that, she figured out that she can just push them right out of that area. And it's easier that way. Good girl. That's all. See, so we'll come. Yay! Good girl. Good girl. Thanks for watching. Be sure to tune in next time for her 10 month update or any other videos we might have in the meantime. Comment your questions below and be sure to follow us on Instagram at Sable.